Com. Well, a property near the airport gained a lot of attention lately. The owners say a tenant left all sorts of tires on the property before just disappearing. The owners now face a hefty fine because of those tires. KMAX Katie Gray's out there to show us what's going on. Brian, Lauren, between I-27 and Regis Street, there is a property covered in tires. You can see one of the piles right behind me. Talking to locals, they say that this problem has been going on for a while. This wasn't always like this, but it's, it's got to go. I mean, it seems like a big junkyard to me. I guess they just left and never come back. I don't know. According to a Facebook post, the property owners claimed a former tenant collected thousands of tires on the property without their permission. The tenant is allegedly nowhere to be found. A neighbor has even contacted his city councilman to help get this cleaned up. And I've been after the county commissioners for a while, and uh, they said, oh, we're going to get on it, we're going to get on it. And uh, last time I talked to them, they said, oh, the Cantu said they, they run out of money to take, uh, to take the tires. So uh, they're going to try to do it in the fall. The man asked not to be named, but says that the tires have been an issue for the last six to eight years. Well, yeah, he kept piling up the tires, and they, and you know, we kept saying, well, there's things that need to be done. You know, they would uh, uh, raise the rent on him, he'd pay it, but he kept piling up the, the tires. Then they raised the rent again, and then they, he kept piling up the tires. You know, and if there was a fine paid, he fi he paid the fine, and then he kept piling up the tires. City of Lubbock is under mediation with the family and cannot officially comment on the case. However, they did say that all of these tires are a violation against several zoning codes. They're running out of time. You know, I don't see why, you know, the city hadn't come in here and, you know, started doing it themselves, you know. The property owners do have to get the tires cleaned up or they could be facing a thirty to fifty thousand dollar fine. Katie Gray, KMAC News. All right, Katie, thank you. A lot more.